I recently added a lot more smart lighting and automations to my media room. And wow, it's taking it up to a whole new level. It's surprisingly easy to set up and automate. And I'll walk you through my setup and show you what I'm using. The links to everything will be down below. When you go to the movie theater, it's a fun experience. The smell of popcorn, the cool lighting, it just builds that excitement for the movie. We wanted to recreate that here, so we have a voice command or a button on my smart home dashboard to start a scene before the movie begins. The scene runs several different actions at once, and one of them is turning on the Gobi floor lamp, which kind of reminds me of a lightsaber right next to the Star Wars poster. It can do many different lighting animations and sets a good vibe as you walk into the room. Then the cabinet lights up from the light strips I put inside so you can grab some very healthy snacks or make popcorn. Using this popcorn machine has been way better than I thought it would be. Not only does it taste great, but it makes the whole room smell like popcorn and it's fantastic. The smart home scene also closes the blackout Lutron Serena shades if they were open and turns on the projector so it can warm up. After grabbing snacks, the light strips on the ground guide you over to your seat with some more light strips in the front media cabinet. Not only do they look really cool, but they help me see in the cabinet like if I need to use the Blu-ray player. And don't worry, I'll show you more about the light strips later in this video. Now it's time to sit and watch the movie, and these chairs make it extremely comfortable. They're from Valencia, which I purchased at a discount so I could show them to you. I actually considered a few other chairs, but these checked all the boxes and more. I wanted chairs that were wide enough to be comfortable, but not big and bulky, because this room is small, and these chairs were a great fit. The armrests open up for storage, and I have all the remotes in here, a little table that can easily attach for snacks, charging cords since all these chairs have a USB charger on the side next to the controls. These are the Tuscany model, which have some extra adjustments I've never experienced before. Yes, they recline, but you can also adjust the lumbar in your lower back and your headrest. Yeah, a motorized headrest. I thought all of my home automations would bring me to peak laziness. Oh no. Not having to lift my head while I watch a movie has surpassed all of that, and it's awesome. To top it all off, they have LEDs in the cup holder and under the chair. It's not ideal when you recline because it shines up on the screen, but if you're getting up, it can help you see better. What's really nice about these chairs is the high quality leather. It's very breathable and you won't get sweaty like the fake leather chairs out there. I can sit on these things for hours and never want to leave. Maybe they're too comfortable. Now that I'm in my seat, I can use a voice command or tap a button to change all the lights for the movie. The lights in the adjacent room fade off to not be distracting, as well as all the other lights in here, except for two. The snack cabinet turns down to 1% brightness, and the baseboard LEDs turn completely off on the left side. The right side dims to a low 1% brightness. That way, I don't see the light strip in my peripheral vision while watching a movie. And if I get up, the lights are there to guide me, just like a movie theater. But without the awkward climbing over random people, or... Uh, why is the floor sticky? Oh, the kids did that, you know, to make it like a real movie theater. Oh, that's fun. If I walk out into the kitchen, the lights turn on from a motion sensor. But what's cool is the lights turn off faster from no motion, only when a movie is playing. That way it's less distracting. The front cabinet light strips are off now, but they automatically turn on when the door is open to help me see in the dark. Then they turn off when the door is closed, all using a contact sensor on the bottom. If I want to eat at the bar behind the chairs, the LED lights help me see better. They're set up to a dim red color so it's not distracting, but I can still see my food. To control them, I can use the physical button on the side, a voice command, or the dashboard like the other scenes. After the movie is over, the lights automatically change when the amplifier is turned off. The light strips turn on first, and then the overhead lights after a slight delay. That way my eyes have time to adjust. The Govi lamp switches to a firework scene. It's like a little celebration after the show, and my kids love it. The lamp is actually not out yet, but will be next month. It's really bright, and the material it's made out of is flexible and thick, which gives it a nice soft glow. You can easily access the Gobi scenes when creating an Amazon routine. This makes it very convenient to automate them. That's also why I use the Casa light strips for the baseboard and front cabinet. 
I can save the cool effects as a scene in the Casa app, like the light strips only lighting up halfway. Then I import that scene in the Alexa app and set up a routine. One of the ways I mounted the light strips is with the little clips I've shown before. These make it so easy to mount. I only need to put up six or so and it holds the light strips great. I don't even need to remove the sticky cover on the light strip. That way you can center and adjust them with very little effort. The ones on the baseboards are using channel covers. These help diffuse LEDs and are very easy to install as well. I have two six foot or two meter channel covers next to each other. I bought some extensions for the Casa light strips so it could span all the way across the wall. The other light strips are from Govi and Yi Light. There were just some extras I had laying around and any light strips would work well for this. I also installed them the exact same way. I'm not the best at hiding wires, but I used the little mounting clips again to hold the wire out of sight. Then the light strips are just plugged into a nearby outlet. I try and hide the plugs behind furniture, but if a cord does show, I use these covers from Ikea that help it blend in more. Cable management is always a work in progress. This room is only 12 by 17, so about 204 square feet. Not a huge room, but the smaller size actually helps with the sound not being lost in the open area. I'm using Klipsch speakers and they sound amazing. I got a bunch of them from Costco because they were way less money and you don't even need a membership to get them. I also got four speakers in the ceiling for Dolby Atmos and two subs that hopefully haven't upset my neighbor yet. Actually, two subs turned down can sound more even than one sub turned up. To power all the speakers, I'm using a Denon X4700. It seemed to have good specs without being too crazy expensive. I was worried that it would be difficult to set up, but it wasn't bad at all. It just walks you through the steps and it was easy to follow. For the projector, I went with the Optima Cinema P2, which has 4K and HDR, so the image quality is unbelievable. Since it's a short throw projector, it sits really close to the wall and it's very bright. It feels like a massive TV since you don't have a bright beam of light shining above your head like a normal projector. It shines onto a 120 inch screen, which took me hours to set up. It was a terrible process, but I like the screen now that it's all set up. Short throw projectors can be tricky though because there's a minimum height needed between the screen and the projector. It was difficult to find a media cabinet that was low enough for a projector but big enough for a center speaker and amplifier. This one from Ikea has worked great and seems high quality being made out of metal. Oh, and one other thing, I didn't want the kids or the dog running in here when I'm not around, so we added a retractable baby gate. Probably one of the best purchases in this room. It locks and has been 100% effective in keeping my kids out, so far. Having this room has been fun to watch movies and go crazy with smart lighting. I'll be adding more automations to this room, so make sure you're following the channel to not miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Yummy candy! Red alert. The candy cabinet has been breached by a tiny criminal. Oh no!